Here's the problem. A 875 kilogram compact car with gazelle stickers speeds up from 22 to 44 meters per second while passing another car. Here's what we need to do. First, draw an LOL diagram. Then calculate the car's initial and final kinetic energies. Then use a work energy theorem to determine the amount of work done on the car to increase its speed. And finally, if the driver does this in a distance of 500 meters, what force does the engine need to apply to the car? Let's look at the, let's first draw the LOL diagram. Our system is going to be the car. We don't need the earth because everything's at the same height and we don't need gravitational potential energy. So the energy of the car is going to be kinetic energy. So we start with some initial kinetic energy. So a half m v initial squared. And the V initial was 22 meters per second. And at the end, we also have kinetic energy, but now we have more kinetic energy. A half M V final squared. And V final is 44 meters per second. And so how did we increase the kinetic energy? Work was done on the car. So I'm going to put the work going into the diagram. And so that's the work. And this plus this should equal that. So the areas should be approximately the same. So first thing is to find those initial and final kinetic energy. So K initial is a half M the initial square, which is one half, 875, 22 squared. And what did someone get for this? Let me check what people had. So 211750. 211750 joules. Now I can write this just as 2.12 times 10 to the 10 to the fifth joules. I'll just use three sig figs. Okay, so the final kinetic energy. Okay, final is one half m v final squared, which is one half. 875, 44 squared. And that becomes 847000. 847000 joules. Or 8.47 times 10 to the fifth joules. So that's the answer to B. Those are the two answers to part B. This one and this one. Now let's look at part C. Use the work energy theorem to determine the amount of work W. So let's do that. Let's do that up here. Part C. So E initial plus work equals E final. So it's K initial plus work equals K final. So the work is K final minus K initial. So we just subtract these two. It's, it becomes 
8.47 times 10 to the fifth minus 2.12 times 10 to the fifth. And that equals 6.35 times 10 to the fifth joules. 6.35 times 10 to the fifth joules. So that's the answer to C. The amount of work done. Now it says, if the driver accomplishes this acceleration in a distance of 500 meters, what force does the engine need to apply to the car? So work is force times distance. So D. Work, work equals force times distance. So force equals work over distance. So our work is 6.35. 6.35 times 10 to the fifth over 500 meters. And that should be 127, 1270.5 Newtons, or we'd say 1.27 times 10 to the 3 Newtons, using 3 sig figs. Okay. That's how we solve this problem. Does anyone have any questions?